And uh, Mo almost reached a food cap there, and his defilers are, sorry, not his defilers, his lurkers are done. Shizm outside of Mo's base, not going to put the pressure on, though. He, he got to know that Mo had time to prepare. Mo with his third base up, that's his uh, mineral only. And Chisholm still has not taken a second gas. Uh, kind of interesting. He, I'm sure he scanned the Hydralis den by now. He should have a factory going up in preparation for retaliation by Lurker. You can see the bunkers up. Uh, no turrets or anything going up. But he needs to get a factory down to help combat those Lurkers. You can't just do it with Marines alone because you take the risk of just, for whatever reason, just losing your entire army to well-placed Lurkers. And actually Chisholm has hit a food cap there and that, that kind of put him behind as well. Now, we see Lurkers being moved en route and actually trying to push Shizm out of his base. And Mo almost loses that Lurker. That was really close. And this is just kind of poor control by Mo. He's got a lot of Lurkers just sitting, those three Lurkers sitting out in the middle. He could try to bring those up for a flank or, no, he's going to bring his Zerglings down and try to join up with them and just try to push the natural. Unfortunately, those two bunkers there, not going to get too far. But there is no detection. And there it is. And now the Lurkers are going to get picked off. And that is it. And now Mo is kind of contained in his own base, despite the Lurkers holding off Shizma's Marines. It's just only a matter of time before you can see the factory just about finished, before tanks come into play, and Mo is completely contained. So in this kind of a situation, now the Lurkers contained kind of didn't work. You just pretty much mass up your forces machine and then just go for one big attack and... Just try to bust through and end it, or what would you do? He has to he has to eliminate this contain. Like you're saying, once the the tank tech comes online, he's in trouble. So he he should know that he has to get a hive tech here soon, in order to deal with those tanks. Um, he's he's got to push that marine force, you know, back to its base so he can go ahead and freely take his third gas. There, there's no way he's going to be able to win this game with a uh, two gas on Andromeda against. Schism is way ahead. And it looks like Mo is going to push Schism back a little bit, but Schism just not giving up any ground at all. A lot of players, what the mistakes they'll make is they'll just retreat their army all the way back home and not try to delay Zerg at all. And it looks like Sh uh, Schism is going to do that and pin through those two lurkers and then probably now move his entire army up to uh, confront Mo. And yep, there they go. You can't let, like you said, Machine, can't let Mo take a third gas. The thing about Andromeda, though, is it's difficult for Azur to take a third gas. They usually don't want to spend the resources to get speed and drop to take an island, so they usually go for the 9 or 3 o'clock position. But again, those are very open positions for Terran to put pressure on just because they're somewhat hard to defend uh, until the hatcheries are made and you can just fill them up with somethings. And now we can see Mo come in. We're coming in with a nice flank of Zerglings, trying to catch Shizm off guard. Unfortunately, Shizm, uh, quick with his finger, didn't lose too many Marines and is able to pull them out of the trap without taking too many losses. So now, aerials. Now that Shizm is kind of getting pushed back into his base, is it necessary to just let the Zerg come all the way in and use your tanks to your advantage, or do you want to try to fight them outside your base? Um, well, the best thing he should do, since he knows he's really ahead, and even if Mo sent the drone out to start expanding, his hatch would literally just be starting. Uh, all he has to do right now is just wait for a science vessel, so he can move out without losing forces unnecessarily. He just got really defensive at the moment. And I'd like to point out something, that if you check Schism's upgrades, he actually got armor first. And if anybody's wondering if that was a misclick, or why he would do that, that is actually for the lurkers because uh, lurkers generally only take two shots regularly to kill a marine and the armor actually makes it three shots so it helps with the micro aspect of it which is a pretty cool move uh, personally I don't know if I would do it and attack helps a lot to kill the lurkers a lot faster but to help with the micro plus one armor would definitely uh, be a nice little option considering it's one more extra shot for the and now she's just trying to push out here. One siege shank almost got picked off by those lurkers, but a timely comsat saves the day and forces Mo to move back. And now we can see Mo massing up zergling forces in the middle. Let's take a look at Mo's base. Still on the lair tech, no queen tech, uh, no queen's nest down. Looks like Mo is just going to try to just do this game all of lair tech, and I think it's just not going to work out. Science vessels are already out, and you cannot fight a Terran who has science vessels with just lair tech only, especially without a spire. This game is just rapidly falling out of Mo's hands, and you can see him trying to go for a contain, or I'm sorry, not a contain, a flank, 
with Zerglings and Lurkers. The Zerglings coming in from the right hand side, coming in just a little bit too late though. And uh, not going to be able to, well they might be able to catch those Marines and the Lurkers are coming in and wow they cleaned up that force quite nicely. More Marines coming out though, but now that the Lurkers have lost the Zergling support, they're going to just get easily outflanked themselves and picked off, and that's it for Mo. There goes all those Lurkers, despite causing heavy damage to Shism's army uh, with that nice flank there. If those Zerglings had been a little bit quicker, I think he would have just caught that tearing ball perfectly, but they're just a little bit too late, and Game 4 goes to Shism. Um, so now we're moving on to Game 5, the last game between Shism and Mo, and we'll see who uh, claims the crown of the team like King of the Hill. So uh, thanks again Machine and Aerials and we'll uh, move right on to game five.